our next next presenter our guest speaker dr umar farooq from university of agriculture faisalabad toba taxing toba taxing campus dr sahab is serving as assistant professor in department of poultry production he has serving a lot towards society and science he has working on many project the title of his presentation is investigating of role of natural antioxidant on liquid semen storage in chicken so please welcome bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, good evening everybody uh, what i'm going to present today is the role of some natural antioxidant on liquid semen storage in chicken uh, we call, we can store semen in two forms one is the frozen form and the other one is liquid uh, at this pre at the present moment uh, the technology for the freezing of chicken semen is in developing phase and the only option available is liquid semen storage for liquid semen storage we have to use certain types of diluents uh, these diluents actually contain the recipe which support the sperm during storage period and remain uh, and help it to remain viable so in this study we use three natural antioxidants and those were carnitine methionine and honey and we studied their effect on liquid semen storage in chicken so before i go to the main study i would like to discuss little bit about artificial insemination artificial insemination is getting popular in pakistan because it actually helps improvement in the uh, production of meat type breeders uh, the reports are available which indicates that if we use artificial insemination then we can get actually 10 to 15 more chicks per hen as compared to the natural insemination uh, on other hand because at this moment in pakistan we are not using sperm traits to evaluate male to rank them into superior and inferior ranks <coughs> inferior ranks so but if we do that then we will be able to use genetic uh, the superior genetic material and we can inseminate to large number of females as i earlier said that at this moment in pakistan we are using freshly collected semen for artificial insemination that create a bit of urgency because immediately after collection we have to inseminate the semen and if we keep it for for storage then its quality deteriorated and it cause infertility so if there is possibility to store this semen for a short period of time then it may help to maintain ai schedules and it will and we can keep mail on one form and we can transport semen to the distant forms and thirdly superior males can be used more effectively because from one dose we can prepare 5 to 10 doses and if we have a superior male then we can inseminate from that superior male to large number of females <clears throat> so what actually happens when we store semen uh this is actually very briefly it causes lipid peroxidation that generate reactive oxygen species both of these processes are involved in the deterioration of the sperm cell membrane and the sperm motility sperm motility is very important for the sperm to move into the barriers of female reproductive tracts and reach the ovid ovum for at the fertilization sites so if the lipid peroxidation is there and uh the reactive oxygen species are produced then it will cause at the end it will cause infertility in the males and if we see in the mammals in the and in the birds 
the biggest cause of infertility in the males is the lipid peroxidation and the reactive oxygen species. So to avoid that, we, uh, we uh, plan this study, and in this study we use natural antioxidant and supplement these natural anti antioxidant to the diluents. So in the first study, we use three antioxidants, naming carnitine, methionine, and honey, and we tested four levels of each of them. And in the second study, we tested their combined effect on the liquid semen storage in chicken. So for semen collection, we use massage method because this method is good. And for data collection, we collected data on mass motility and membrane integrity and sperm morphology and viability. For sperm motility, we use method of mass motility measurement. And for membrane integrity, we use hyperosmotic swelling test. For sperm viability and abnormal morphology, we use EOC, negrosy, and dyeing. And the result of this study showed that after 48 hours of storage, the sperm motility was, score was highest in two millimolar uh, L-methionine treatment. This 3.1 is equal to percentage of around 50 to 70 percent. So as per, for the plasma membrane integrity, we find good result with honey. And also, uh, as compared to the control group, our all the natural uh, antioxidants provide good prote protection to the membrane integrity. For abnormal morphology, we found highest number of abnormal sperm in the control group. And then there was the, our treatments group provide good protection against the abnormal, abnormal sperms. In second study, where we use the combined a combination of all these three natural antioxidants. So we find that though the motility was not as good as was in the first study, but the results were very much uh, positive in the sense of plasma membrane integrity. That was very good. And also, the abnormal sperm was lower than from the first study. So from this, we concluded that that if we want to improve the sperm motility, then we can supplement the diluent with two millimolar L-methionine. But if we want to improve sperm integrity, membrane integrity, and also the and also we want to reduce the morphological defects, then we can use the combination of these natural antioxidants. So from this study. We, 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 what we get from this study, that if we add natural antioxidants to the diluents, we can improve the sperm storage period in the liquid form. So that is all from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Osman. So there is little change in our program. So our guest speaker uh, will not coming here due to some family issues. So <clears throat> the next the next talk will present myself. I am serving as a system professor in the Department of Poultry Science in Arad University. Secondly, I am also serving as a Vice President, World Poultry Science Association, and Junior Vice President of Asian Pacific Foundation of WPSA uh, Bangkok West. Uh, lastly, I am also the World Group Leader of Small Scale Family Poultry of World Poultry Science Association. So the title of my presentation is the Applied low amino acid concept with protease in poultry nutrition. Uh, 